Blessed are ye when men shall revile you, and persecute you, and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely. For my sake rejoice, and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. Matthew chapter 5, verses 11 and 12, King James Holy Bible. I'll confess, this is a difficult one to come into agreement with today, because something incredibly unfair and wrong has happened not just to me, but thousands of others here on this platform. Many people over the last few years have said, Florida Maki, we know that you're controlled opposition. Why? Because, well, if you had been a truth teller, you would have been kicked off of YouTube already, like all of the other truth tellers, just like Trump. Well, guess what? Donald Trump is back on YouTube. And what makes it worse is this channel, the Florida Maki, is suffering under a withering assault of shadow banning and do not amplify attempts by those at YouTube. Why? Why is that the case? Because way back in 2021, I carried live one of his speeches from Hillman, Alabama, where he made an allegation about the events surrounding the election cycle in 2020. That's all I'm allowed to say. That's all this channel is really allowed to say about the events surrounding 2020 without risking getting kicked off completely. Yet when you go to the Donald Trump channel, which has now been fully reinstated, his lead video, his lead video is titled, This May Be the Most Important Speech I Ever Made, where he is allowed now to go through and say all sorts of things I'm not even allowed to allude to. So I have a question for you guys. So is he controlled opposition now? And if that's the case, what are the liberals really afraid of? Could it be a certain governor from Florida? You see, I'm not upset that Donald Trump is back on YouTube. I believe everybody should have the ability to say what they can say. But when you put out a set of rules and then you punish certain people for not adhering to those rules, but then the very person who was the reason those rules were put into place now doesn't have to abide by them, now can do whatever they want to do. This should tell you everything you need to know about what the liberals are truly afraid of in the next election cycle. And it's not this guy. Or they wouldn't let him speak, right? Because that's what that's the standard. If you're allowed on YouTube, then you're clearly controlled opposition. Well, guess what? Guess what? YouTube restores Trump's channel ability to upload content, new content, ahead of 2024 election. Yet everyone who has ever carried anything he said regarding the 2020 election has either been shadow banned, do not amplified, or deleted or demonetized completely. Many ask, Florida Maki, why do you push your Patreon channel every single day? This is why. This is why since 2021, the destruct and I haven't really talked about this in detail here in public, the amount of destruction they have done to my channel has been epic. There are months that I have had to do two videos. I had to go live with the governor in the morning and then do a video at night, um, cover things from Antarctica, and then do yet something else on current events in the evening, and do two videos a day. Sometimes I've even put up three videos in a day. But no chance of not getting by with going, letting a day go by without a video. Because of the amount of do not amplify and destruction they've done to this channel. So I've had to create the Patreon channel. And I've made it available to every possible person that I could by setting it at the lowest level. This is what they've done. And why have they done it? They started after I covered a Trump speech. It all started after I covered a Trump speech. And I'm like, well, okay. I get it. We all have rules we need to abide by, and apparently I didn't abide by the rules. You have that in the military. You have that in jobs. Most adults have had to go and do and work at jobs where they didn't agree with the rules, didn't like the rules. 
But I had to just suck it up and just deal with it. But when you see rules not applied fairly, especially looking back, it's uh, something that's pretty hard to swallow. Where they would enforce a rule on you, but not the guy next to you. Most people, most people would have legal um, recourse. I don't. I don't. Why? Because monetization on YouTube is a privilege, and they have reclassified it as royalties, not income. So, that's just that. If you'd like to support the Florida Maquis and help offset some of this unfairness, it's only one U.S. dollar per month. Even less if you sign up for an entire year. Fully refundable first 90 days. And here is a 24 to 48 hour notice. We are going to have a brand new video up over there. Talking about something that I had talked about for a long time. But very recently, the Patriot Nurse has referenced. She talked about Yael in the Bible. And the story of her and Sisera. And how this man came to her tent. And she turned on the feminine charms and did something to put him right to sleep to the point where she could drive a tent peg right through the guy's temples. Story in the Bible. Well, guess what? What if I told you there was a modern TV series that alluded to almost this exact same thing? And most didn't see it because, well, to be truthful, the book of Judges is a bit obscure in the Bible for those of you that aren't um, Jewish. It's part of the Torah, if I'm not mistaken. But most modern evangelical Christians kind of stick around the New Testament more so than the Old. It's a series called Revolution. And in two different instances, you see ladies in the series having their tent peg moments, so to speak, where they use their feminine wiles to get things that they need. And in one particular one, in specific, they use something very much like a tent bag. It's a hairpin. So, once again, you just can't make this stuff up. But because of the type of content, and because of the do not amplify, and because of the shadow banning, and because YouTube just wants to try to get me to quit, and basically have my entire audience go somewhere else, I need to put all that content over on Patreon, over on Vimeo servers. So congratulations, Trump supporters, you win. You win. And if you think I'm kidding, here's the channel right here. It's up and live. Save America, President Donald J. Trump. And if you go right now, and you go there, you will see a video that will pop up for you for returning subscribers, for people that aren't subscribed. You see right here, I went ahead and subscribed. But if you haven't subscribed, a video will pop up for you. And it's Donald J. Trump. This may be the most important speech I ever made. He still is has been allowed to keep his 2.65 million subscribers. This particular video has 6.2 million views. To put that in perspective, my, my, this one video of his has 6.2 million views where he basically talks about the events surrounding the 2020 election and uses words that I'm not even allowed to use in reference to the 2020 election. Not, I can't use the word at all. It's not allowed. But yet he can actually say it and go on about it in detail and that's perfectly fine. And that is perfectly fine. And while I agree with his ability to say it, the fact that others of us are being punished for saying the same thing is not fair. But once again, once again, I guess I'm going to have to ask the question, is Donald Trump controlled opposition now? So I guess myself and BP Earthwatch and Southern Prepper One and Patriot Nurse, and Jennifer Veterans for Truth. I guess we're all controlled opposition. Florida Maki, we're all controlled opposition. Now along with Donald Trump. Because why? Because we're allowed on YouTube. That's the standard, right? Florida Maki, you should go to Rumble. You should go to BitChute. You should go to... That's where the real truth is. Really? So apparently now, I guess, you'll have to say that Donald Trump isn't real truth. Why is he not real truth? Because he's on YouTube. That's the standard. 
and we should apply it fairly to everyone, right? Or are you going to be like YouTube and apply one standard here and apply a different standard to everybody else? Which is exactly what's going on. Where's the, uh, where's the image? Here it is. This was from, uh, from Alabama from way back. Way, way back in 2021. And all I did, all I did was, was let him speak. I didn't expound on what he said. I didn't turn up the volume when he was talking about the events around the 2020 election. He talked for two hours plus in Alabama about literally every possible topic you could think of that was going on at the time. And, and believe it or not, during that speech, he encouraged the audience to go get the jab. That's right. He encouraged his audience to go and get the thing, the uh, solution to the 2020 snuffles. He encouraged his audience because of Operation Warp Speed. And it wasn't that. Everybody likes to gloss over stuff like that. Oh, you Trump supporters love to gloss over stuff like this. Take the guns first, due process second. No, he didn't mean that. He said it, but he didn't mean it. Standing ovation for Hillary Clinton. Oh, well, you know, he had to do that. He had to do that at that, that breakfast. You know, it just, that's just who he is. I'm going to label China a currency manipulator. Five seconds after getting elected. Oh, well, China's not really manipulating currency in kind of the way that I thought they were. So I'm not going to. And then, of course, Operation Warp Speed. But that's, oh, that's right. I forgot. It's DeSantis who's the real enemy. DeSantis is the real enemy. That's right. He's the, he's the real enemy. Tell me another one. Tell me another one. So, anyway. Even for the best of us, it is very difficult sometimes to hold to Bible teaching when something like this happens because it is horrible to, well, I know there's a lot of folks out there that have it a lot worse than I do, and so I should probably sing a few rounds of Count Your Blessings, name them one by one before I say too much. But it is uh, instructive. For those of you who wonder, for those of you who uh, ponder, you know, what is truth, what isn't truth, what should we believe, what shouldn't we believe? Today should tell you everything you need to know. If they feared him, if they didn't want him to run, if they didn't want him to be the nominee, I guarantee he wouldn't be on YouTube. He's been restored to Twitter, if I'm not mistaken. I believe his Instagram is back up. And don't, don't discount the idea of money either because this little game that YouTube has played where they have demonetized people and shadow banned people and deleted people has cost them an arm and a leg. I don't think this and SVB is um, not tied together because Silicon Valley is exactly where YouTube and uh, Google are located. And I'm wondering how much of a haircut they've had to take because they've been given every one of us out here that are still alive and active on YouTube huge, huge haircuts financially on what we make. And I know that's really not your business. Everybody's out there just trying to look at, around and get the best information they can. But for those of us that, that have been doing this for a living basically since Donald Trump got elected, and that's, you know, I got my first... Uh, First monetization month was December 2016 for the Florida Maquis. So, anyway, I will leave it there. Thank you so much for your support, though. I appreciate it. Um, for those of you who have hesitated or haven't signed up, now would be the time. If you have a dollar, and it's a dollar a month, that's it. And you everything over there, one U.S. dollar. Per month, even less if you sign up for an entire year. And once again, it's insured 
giant unquote, air quotes there, first 90 days. I put up something you don't like or you don't think it's for you, first 90 days, you can get your money back. No questions asked. I'll leave it there. God bless. Like, share, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.